Welcome back to Anand Science Academy. With this video, let's start the self-study series. You all know that microbes cause a large number of diseases in human beings. They also cause diseases in animals and plants. But this should not make you think that all microbes are harmful. Several microbes are useful to man in diverse ways. Some of the most important contributions of microbes to human welfare are discussed in this chapter. Microbes in Human Welfare Do you remember which kingdoms among the living organisms contain microorganisms? Which are the ones that are only microscopic? Here is the answer. Kingdoms Monera, Protista, and fungi contain microscopic organisms. But Monera is the only one that has completely microscopic organisms. Where do microorganisms found? Microbes are found everywhere in soil, water, and air, and also inside human body, animal, and plant bodies. Some of them are found in extreme environmental conditions such as thermal winds where the temperature may be as high as 100 degrees Celsius, deep in the soil, under the layers of snow several meters thick and in highly acidic conditions also. Microbes are of several types like protozoa, bacteria, fungi, viruses, viroids and prions. Microbes like bacteria and many fungi can be grown on nutritive media to form colonies that can be seen with the naked eyes. Such cultures are useful in studies on microorganisms. Microbes in household products. First one curd preparation. Lactobacillus and other bacteria, commonly called lactic acid bacteria, help in the preparation of curd. Now, let's see the process in the form of a simple flowchart. Initially, inoculum or starter, this is nothing but a small amount of curd that is added to warm milk. The milk should not be too hot or too cold. It should be warm. As this inoculum is added to warm milk, the inoculum contains number of lactic acid bacteria. Now these bacteria grow in the warm milk and they produce acids. Because of the reaction, coagulation and partial digestion of the milk proteins occur. As a result, curd is formed. The curd has some advantages. First one, it is enriched with vitamin B12 and the lactic acid bacteria Check the growth of disease causing microbes in our stomach. The next household product is idli dosa batter. This is fermented by bacteria. Fermentation of the batter is carried out mainly by lab that is lactic acid bacteria and heterofermentative bacteria like Leuconostoc mesenteroides. The following question is given in our NCRT reader. Can you tell which metabolic pathway is taking place resulting in the formation of carbon dioxide? There are some metabolic pathways in which carbon dioxide is a byproduct. Citric acid cycle during aerobic respiration. Alcoholic fermentation by yeast, heterofermentative bacteria 
ferment carbohydrates and produce volatile acids and carbon dioxide as well as lactic acid. Where do you think the bacteria for these fermentation come from? The microorganisms responsible for the fermentation of idli batter are naturally present in the ingredients of the batter, black gram and rice. Some of the microbes are provided by water and air also. The dough which is used for making bread is fermented using baker's yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Another product, Todi, a traditional drink of southern India, is made by fermenting sap from palms. This fermentation is also carried out by the baker's yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Microbes are also used to ferment fish, soybean and bamboo shoots to make various food items. Cheese is one of the oldest food items in which microbes were used. Different varieties of cheese are known by their characteristic texture, flavor and taste. The specificity coming from the microbes used. For example, the large holes in Swiss cheese are due to the production of a large amount of carbon dioxide by a bacterium named Propionibacterium charmani. The Rockford cheese are ripened by growing a specific fungi on them which gives them a particular flavor. The fungi that is used in the process is Penicillium rockforti. Even in industry, microbes are used to synthesize a number of products valuable to human beings. Beverages and antibiotics are some examples. Production on an industrial scale requires growing microbes in very large vessels called fermenters. Microbes, especially yeast, have been used from time immemorial for the production of beverages like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy or rum. For this purpose, the same yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, used for bread making and commonly called Brewer's yeast, is used for fermenting, malted cereals and fruit juices to produce ethanol. Wow. Depending on the type of the raw material used for fermentation and the type of processing, different types of alcoholic drinks are obtained. Wine and beer are produced without distillation, whereas whiskey, brandy and rum are produced by distillation of the fermented broth. The figure shows how the distillation process is carried out. Number 1. Mixture with alcohol. Number 2. Vapors from the boiling alcohol after heating to 173 degree Fahrenheit. Number 3. The captured vapor passed through coiled copper tubing which is submerged in cold water. Number 4. The coiled tubing and cold water cool the vapors back to a liquid form. Number 5. The resulting liquid is much higher in alcoholic content than the previous mixture that is shown in number 1. This table shows you different alcoholic beverages and their alcohol content. Here you can see 
out of uh, these many beverages beer and toddy have uh, very less uh, alcoholic content compared to other beverages which are prepared by distillation process the next industrial product we are going to see is antibiotics antibiotics are chemical substances which are produced by some microbes and can kill or retard the growth of the other disease causing microbes do you know that penicillin was the first antibiotic to be discovered and it was a chance discovery alexander fleming while working on staphylococci bacteria once observed a mold growing in one of his unwashed culture plates around which staphylococci could not grow he found out that it was due to a chemical produced by the mold and he named it penicillin after the mold penicillium notatum however its full potential as an effective antibiotic was established much later by ernest chain and howard florey this antibiotic was extensively used to treat american soldiers wounded in world war 2 fleming chain and florey were awarded the nobel prize in 1945 for this discovery after penicillin other antibiotics were also purified from other microbes here you can see a list of microorganisms and the antibiotics produced by them there are many deadly diseases which are prevented by antibiotics like plague whooping cough diphtheria and leprosy also microbes are also used for commercial and industrial production of certain chemicals like organic acids alcohols and enzymes let's see them one by one aspergillus niger a fungus helps in the production of citric acid because of its acidic sour tasting nature citric acid is predominantly used as a flavoring and preserving agent especially in soft drinks and candies it is also used to stabilize or preserve medicines and as a disinfectant against viruses and bacteria acetobacter aceti a bacterium helps in the commercial production of acetic acid this acetic acid is used in many industrial processes for the production of substrates and it is often used as a chemical reagent for the production of a number of chemical compounds like acetic anhydride ester vinyl acetate monomer vinegar and many other polymeric materials this acetic acid is also used in pickles as a preservative clostridium butylicum a bacterium helps in the commercial production of butyric acid this acid is of considerable commercial importance as a raw material in the manufacture of esters of lower alcohols for use as flavoring agents lactic acid it is produced by lactobacillus a bacterium lactic acid is used as a humectant or moisturizer in some cosmetics and as a mordant a chemical that helps fabrics accept dyes in textiles it is also used in making pickles foods for which a sour taste is desired lactic acid is also used in the dairy industry not only in making yogurt but in making cheese as well it is also used in tanning of leather ethanol or ethyl alcohol is produced by saccharomyces cerevisiae a yeast which comes under the kingdom fungi 
Ethanol is an important industrial chemical. It is used as a solvent in the synthesis of other organic chemicals and as an additive to automotive gasoline. Ethanol is also the intoxicating ingredient of many alcoholic beverages such as beer, wine and distilled spirits. Now let's see some enzymes which are obtained from microbes and their uses. Lipases Lipases are widely used in the processing of fats and oils, detergents and degreasing formulations, food processing, the synthesis of fine chemicals and pharmaceuticals and also for the manufacture and the production of cosmetics. Some of the microbes from which lipases are obtained are bacteria like Bacillus, Pseudomonas, etc. Pectinases are obtained from some fungi like Aspergillus and Penicillium species and the protease enzymes are obtained from many species of uh, the genus Bacillus bacterium. These enzymes are used in the preparation of clarified fruit juices. Streptokinase produced by the bacterium Streptococcus and modified by genetic engineering is used as a clot buster for removing clots from the blood vessels of patients who have undergone myocardial infection leading to heart attack. Cyclosporin A, a bioactive molecule produced by a fungus, Trichoderma polysporum. It is used as an immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant patients. Statins or another bioactive molecule produced by the yeast, Monascus purpureus. These statins are used as blood cholesterol lowering agent. They act by competitively inhibiting the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol. So far we have seen the various household and industrial products obtained from microbes. Let's continue the lesson in the next video. All the best.